Hello, Grandmaster Herbert Ware with Mount Tabor Grand Lodge YouTube channel. I'm coming to you this time from the most wishful Mount Tabor Grand Lodge AF and AM of Houston, Texas, and our International Masonic Temple. I want to thank you for tuning in. I want to thank you for your subscriptions to our YouTube channel. Continue to watch. We're going to bring you some, hopefully, some real powerful and impactful videos in 2023. Our objective in 2023 is to elevate anyone, everyone that we come in contact with to uh, uh, a very productive and uh, prosperous level for their lives. We uh, do have a couple of books. I mentioned those repeatedly, Masonic Maturity Through Scripture and Blue Lodge Holy Bible Reference Guide, both of which are on uh, Amazon.com. If you forget the titles, type in my name, Herbert and Ware, and they'll come up. Okay, here's what we're going to do today. We're going to start the year off talking about principles. Principles that exist and will have an impact upon your life. Principles are everywhere. Everything on God's green earth is temporary except for principles. A principle is a thing. You can possess it. You can use it to capture what it is you want in life. Or you can use it and really get hurt because principles lead you to do a thing or not do, to do a thing. Depending upon the outcome you want uh, and what you're willing to gamble, to, what gamble you're willing to take. So, Special note, understand, a principle is a fundamental law. Principles don't care whether you're a good person or a bad person. Principles don't care whether it makes they make you feel good or feel bad. Principles don't care what you want. Principles just exist. My feelings are one thing, but the principles are just there. And if my feelings get hurt, oh well. Okay, so understand this. Principles are in everything and everywhere in our life. What we need to do is start identifying the principles and operating according to those. You see, uh, you, you believe in the principles. You trust the principles and you work the process. Trust the principles, work the process. Trust the principles, work the process. And when you trust the principles, you have faith and God on your side. Then when you work the process, you get God and faith to produce the manifestation of your desires. So um, principles don't lie and they don't change. The principles of yesterday are here today. And they're going to be here tomorrow. So they're not going anywhere. We might as well start identifying them now and so that we can use them to our advantage. You should look for principles everywhere in every facet and for every area of your life. When you do that, then you're operating from a, a standpoint of having your feet flat on the ground and plant it. And then you, you will definitely move forward. You will definitely find peace. You will definitely have power because the principles that God has put in place, the universe puts in place, will respond to your utilization of them. Couple of them. What goes up must come down all the time principle. So you can't throw it up and don't come down. Look at people shooting guns. Bullets go up, they come down. I had some roof work done on the house. Guy got up there and looked around. He said, Mr. Way, you got a lot of bullet holes in your roof. Well, I didn't go up there and shoot bullets in the roof. What goes up comes down. What you give, you get. 
That principal don't care whether I'm a good guy or a bad guy, whether my feelings get hurt or not. If I'm rude and crude, I'm going to get rude and crude. If I hurt somebody, I'm going to get hurt. If I'm good to somebody, if I'm compassionate to somebody, I'm going to get good and I'm going to get compassion. Now, here's one that we don't like to accept, and it doesn't sound good, it doesn't feel good, and oftentimes we negate it because we want to go stay in a woe is me situation. But they're a basic principle. Nothing happens until you do something. I was talking a while back and I said, work will solve 90% of our problems. All you got to do is work. Remember, trust the process. I mean, trust the principle. Work the process. Work will solve our problems. If you got a problem and you work, you're going to move through it. But once you sit down, because you do not trust the principle and you do not work the process, when you sit down, you negate everything. You kill everything. Principle on, in the spiritual area of our life. From the fruit of a man's mouth, his stomach is satisfied. He is satisfied by the yield of his lips. What that says is, when I get up in the morning, if I say, this is going to be a bad day, then the answer from God and the universe and the principle is, sure, you're right. And we're going to do everything we can to make you happy with what you just spit out. But on the other hand, if I wake up and say, let's go, I got things to do, we're going to get some things done today. God and the universe and the principle says, let's rock and roll. This is going to be exciting. We have an air of expectancy of something good. And that's the way you have to control, You that's the way you take control of your life and of your spirit and of your vessel. When it comes down to family, do not be unequally yoked with unbelievers. For what partnership has righteousness with lawlessness? In other words, if I'm concerned with good health and my partner is concerned with junk food and not exercising, not doing anything, we, we're, not, we're not on the same page. You need to be on the same page. you got to be with like kind. Remember, apple seeds produce apples, not oranges. So you have to find someone that is equally yoked. you got to find someone. Now, don't get me wrong. You don't have to agree with it. Agree on everything. But where you don't agree, you still remain harmonious. You still remain in unity because you have a goal and, a, and an objective. You don't get with anybody. You don't work with anybody. You don't take on a project unless you believe in the project and the person. If you don't believe in the person, don't believe in the project, then you shouldn't be there. Because again, you're not going to click. You're not going to be on the same page. You're not going to be congruent. And congruency Consistency is what produces manifestation of good. A lack of that produces a manifestation of bad, strife, stress, strain, etc. When it comes down to finances, principle, give and it will be given to you. Good measure, press down, shaken together, running over, will be put in your lap for with the measure you use it, it will be measured back to you. What that says, if I give, I'm going to get. If my heart is right, when I'm giving, I'm going to receive. You don't give to be seen. You don't make a flow show out of what you're giving. You give from the heart. And when you do that, it's going to be measured back to you. The, the, the principle is simple. I mentioned it earlier. 
What you give, you get. If you want sincerity, give sincerity. You want to be a friend? Excuse me. You want a friend? Be a friend. You want to be understood? Understand. Ask questions. That's how you get an understanding. Ask questions. You want to get your feelings hurt? Don't ask questions. You want to stay hurt? Don't ask questions. So what happens is we have to understand that different people have different ways of doing things. And what we want to do is we want to get on the same page, especially if we're headed in the same direction. Financial, uh, well, that is financial. So when we talk about the physical, I love this one because it says in all labor, there's profit. I use that all the time. That is a part of my DNA. Okay. In other words, I'm not going to worry about if I do some work for you and you don't pay me or don't pay me correctly. Okay. God, I did what I was supposed to do. You said in all labor, there's profit. I worked. I'm just waiting now. Let's get me paid. So again, in all labor, there's profit doesn't say that if I do something for you, I'm going to get paid by you. I've gone through that a countless times in my profession, which is selling insurance and so forth. I go, I make a presentation. They know I'm coming. They know why I'm coming. They know what they're supposed to do. They know what I'm going to do. And I get there and lo and behold, well, I just wanted to get some information. Okay, that ain't what we said. Now, I got two choices. I can get upset with them for, quote, not adhering to what we agreed to, or I can go on about my business. Lord, I did what I was supposed to do. So, I did the work. I trust the process. And... I mean, trust the, the principle, I did the work, and now I'm looking, I'm working the process. So he makes sure that I get the profit. That happened to me one time. Drove 75 miles out of town. Before I got back, the lady canceled the policies. Got a phone call from a business associate. Hey, call these two people. They want to buy a couple of insurance policies. That's because I maintained that let's get things done. It's going to be all right. I'm in control. And what, I, what happened over here doesn't define me and ain't going to kill me. Let's go do something different. And lo and behold, God and the universe said, okay, you didn't shut us down. So here, we're going to give you this. So understand that. And one of the things that's powerful, too, in this physical sense is a principle. As iron sharpens iron, so does one man sharpen the continents of his friend. That means, too, and that could apply for family, that could apply for social, that could apply for financial, etc. But as iron sharpens iron, so does one man sharpen the continents of his friend. Bottom line is, watch who you associate with. Bottom line is, get with somebody that can help you become sharper, and you got to be willing to help them become sharper. Bottom line is, don't look at self all the time. Don't look at only self, but what can I do for you? They say a good mason never approaches a man looking for what he can get. A mason approaches a man in the manner of what can I give? What can I do to help him? That's the way we're supposed to approach life. We are all interdependent creatures. We are all dependent on somebody doing what they're supposed to do so we can do what we're supposed to do. So as iron sharpens iron, so does one man sharpen the continents of his friend. I always want to leave you better than you were when I got to you. Social principles. 
Ooh, do not be deceived. Bad company ruins good morals. 1 Corinthians 15.33. That's my dog. That's my buddy. We tight. He steals, but that's still my buddy. He's a drug addict, but that's still my buddy. Bad company ruins good morals. I'm not going to tell you what morals are. Take your cell phone, take a dictionary, look up the definition of morals. Morals lead to good virtues. Virtues lead to success, prosperity, peace, and power. Because values, I mean virtues, operate according to principle. Folks, I have no, come to notice over the past few years and months, more and more of us are avoiding the principles of life. Now, you can find a lot of principles, in fact, pretty much any principle concerning any situation in life in the Holy Bible. But it does you no good if you're not willing to work the process. So, with that in mind, I'm going to say, identify, if you have a situation, identify the principles that apply to your situation. Trust the principles and then work the process and you'll find that truly everything on God's green earth is temporary and you can walk through any storm. As long as you are, you trust the principle, you work the process, which means you're walking, moving. And that's what life is about, moving forward. The Masonic order is a progressive science. Life is progressive. So we have to apply the process. We have to utilize the process to go from A to B, to elevate ourselves, to a godly level of peace, power, and prosperity. I do thank you tremendously for joining in on this video. Let me hear from you. Let me uh, know what you're thinking. Let me know some of the problems you're having. And uh, we're going to be having some, some more videos on principles. And also, um, I'm thinking seriously about coming out with one or two on leadership. They tell me I'm kind of strange, so... Uh, I'm going to throw out some of my philosophies and let's see where they land and see how whether or not they've been of benefit to you. But let me know if we're helping you at all. Thank you very much. Herbert Ware, Grand Master, Mount Tabor, Grand Lodge, AF and AM, coming to you from the International Masonic Temple in Houston, Texas. I love it, and I love you.